I hope everybody came to have some fun. All right, if you can hear me, can I get a wave? Good morning, if you can hear me. Good morning, everybody. All right, I'm just gonna show you guys how I, we worked with Gigi this weekend on our bus. So you guys could see a little bit of what you could do if you want to. But if you have paper too, you can draw a bus on some paper. We drew a bus and we put our JCYS name on the bus. So fun, so bring your markers, whatever you have, crayons, pencils, and you can make a bus. Because this week we're gonna use our imaginations and we're gonna go on a fun bus ride in the city of Chicago. Look, I have my Bulls hat for Chicago and I have my Cubs jersey so we can visit places in Chicago. Um, so have fun, you're gonna start off. I am going to get on my bus because I have to go pick everybody up because I'm gonna be the bus driver, okay? So you guys keep working, have some fun. I'm gonna stop in a little and see all your great buses. All right, so Gigi's waiting for me on the bus. I'm gonna go get on the bus, okay? This is our bus. We made it at home with some boxes and we got some chairs. All right, I'm gonna get on the bus. Can everybody see me? I'll move you guys a little closer. Hold on. All right, let's get on this bus. I hope everybody likes our cool bus. Anybody notice the four stars in the back? Those are the Chicago stars on our Chicago flag. All right. We're on the bus. Are you ready, Gigi? Oh, she's facing backwards, but hope you can since, see her. Since our chairs can turn around. Oh, we have rotating chairs on this bus. This is a fancy bus. All right. I got my steering wheel. I'm we'll going to take a little drive, and I'm going to pick everybody up for our trip around the city this week. Today is Monkey Monday, so we brought some monkey friends. I got my friend his name is Beans. He's dressed up fancy for this ride this week. And I have a big monkey friend. He's coming with us too on this trip. He's dressed like a superhero. And his best friend. And his best friend Elephant is in the back of the bus. He's hanging out. They're all having a snack, so feel free to have a snack too, guys, if you want to. Um, Gigi, are you going to drive while I read a book for us? Yeah. Okay. I'm giving Gigi the steering wheel, so she's gonna drive, okay? Don't do this at home. No reading and driving, okay? We'll just switch the steering wheel. All right, watch the lights, Gigi. Don't drive too fast, because I'm reading, okay? This book is called Larry Gets Lost in Chicago. All right, not too fast, Gigi. It's kind of, kind of bumpy on this ride. All right, you guys can see, this is Larry and this is Pete. Larry is a doggy and his friend is Pete. They rode on a train, each one in his seat. Filled with excitement, they both wore a grin. A new city adventure was about to begin. Mom and dad led the way from the big busy station, busy station to a water taxi waiting at a river location. Have any of your friends ever taken the boat ride in Chicago? It's so much fun. Through the heart of the city, a river flowed. The water taxi made it seem like a regular road. Under, under several bridges, Pete and Larry passed. With no red lights, they traveled quite fast. That's the Chicago River downtown. The family walked for what seemed like a mile. So many shopping bags and so much style. They're downtown on the Mag Mile. Larry watched a man make hot dogs with all kinds of stuff. With toppings so high, would one bun be enough? Ooh, we love our Chicago hot dogs. They're at Navy Pier. Mustard and relish on every one. Tomatoes, peppers, and a seeded bun. 
celery salt but no ketchup on your hot dog was the final touch. Larry was sure Pete couldn't eat that much. Larry was waiting for Pete to drop some of his hot dog. But eat it he did and Larry's hunger remained. Larry knew not to beg. That was how he was trained. He tried to forget his tummy frustration and the family arrived at a railway station. Larry led them all up. They climbed stair after stair. In this part of town, trains are up in the air. On the platform, they waited a minute or two when one of those hot dogs came into view. Oh no, Larry saw a hot dog on the floor. And you know what Larry did? He jumped off the train. Oh no. Larry pounced on it, happy to finally eat. But in the time that it took, oh, he lost his friend Pete. He lost his friend Pete. Oh no. I think they're riding one of the colored trains that we ride around the city. What train goes by Wrigley Field? Hey, Bracken, do you know what train goes by Wrigley Field? What, the red line? Yeah, it's the red line that goes by Wrigley Field. He was soon happy to, so he lost his friend Pete. He tried to make a quick re reconnection, but the train he jumped on went the other direction. Oh no. He was soon happy to get out, being packed in so tight. Something big was happening at this round building site. Could one of these people in bright blue caps tell him where he could go to find Pete? Perhaps. No, I think no, he's no. at Wrigley Field watching the Cubbies. No, he's not. South. Pete, Mom, and Dad rode their southbound train past a different stadium with a different name. Does anybody know what stadium the White Sox play at? That's guaranteed rate field. They saw trains that were big and planes that were small, but their search for Larry turned up nothing at all. Now they're at the Museum of Science and Industry. How's our ride on the bus, Gigi? Good. Thank I you for keeping us safe. We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop? Not yet. We're almost there to pick up our friends. Soon we'll be there. <laughs> what is that big lion? Pete saw a statue of a guy walking on air. And Larry loved to play ball, but the pup wasn't there. It's a big statue of Michael Jordan at the United Center. Go Bulls! Larry stood by a lion who lived in a zoo, thinking, thank goodness there's a glass between me and Big U. But he still hasn't found his friend. Larry and Pete are still far apart. He found a lakeshore line and ran on the sand. There were boats in the water and one on the land. That's, That's at the beach at North Avenue Beach. That's actually not a boat. He continued his search from way up high. But he could not see his friend from this place in the sky. And at the same time. In that very same minute of that very same hour, Pete was also up high, but in a different tower. Pete is at the John Hancock, and Larry is at the Sears Tower. Oh, no. No help from a giant who had nothing to say, nor the strange looking lady who pointed both, both ways. ways. That's the Picasso statue downtown. We use our imagination as we go around. <gasps> Meanwhile, Larry met a monster yeah. named Sue. Has anybody seen Sue at the museum? Daddy. She is so big. We see a carnival passing by. Oh, we're passing by a carnival? Maybe it's Lady Pier. They saw beautiful paintings and old and new. They looked for Pete in huge tanks of deep blue. I think Larry's at the aquarium. Yeah. Hopefully they can find each other soon. Larry passed around building but stayed far away. He heard people saying, that's where the bears play. Oh. Don't go too close. The bears play there. He ran through a park filled with bright, shiny steel. 
past the crowd listening to music in the field. One sculpture looked like a bean, a giant robot might eat. Larry saw his reflection and beside him was his friend Bean. Oh, they found each other at the bean. Larry and Pete were back together. They jumped and they hugged and he wasn't lost anymore. Then Pete saw something they could both explore. Two giant faces smiled at them, blinking their eyes. Pete and Larry moved close and got a soaking surprise. Right. Those are the fountains downtown. I love those fountains. At first one time I saw the beam and then I saw the fountains, I got all wet. You got all wet. They boarded a train and did their best to get dry. And to this fabulous city, they said their goodbyes. They took a great nap because they had such a busy beep, day. Beep, 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 beep. All right, friends, can you, are you keeping us safe, Gigi? All right, I'll take the steering wheel back. Uh oh, we dropped the steering wheel. All right, friends, can I see some of your buses? How are they going? Let's see those cool buses. We love it. All right, so we're gonna do a little movement. We're gonna do some dance, turn some music up on this bus, and we're gonna do some dancing. Are we ready to dance a little bit? Okay. Ready, but who's gonna drive? Everybody driving the bus. All right, friends, we're jamming in the bus. We're riding this bus all the way to pick up all my friends this week for a ride around the city, okay? Tomorrow, don't forget, bring some paper. You can make, you're going to need your bus pass to get on the bus to go around the city, okay? Mm -hmm. Angelica's going to do some fun activities and make a bus pass. We'll do a little reading, probably, all right? Hey, Gigi, can you drive for a little bit? I'm tired. Daddy. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm putting it on cruise control. You can also bring your binoculars so we can check out sites in the city, okay? You guys, if you still have your binoculars, I'll be around to pick up everybody. We're going to have a great ride and use our imagination this week driving around the city, okay? Isn't that today? I got one little short book, again, about Chicago. This one is counting. So here's one fountain. That's the fountain that sprinkled the water on Larry and Pete. And then we have two, one, two lions that Larry met at the museum. They're pretty big. How many trains are on this train track? One, two, Three, three trains on the train track. That's the red line. Uh-oh, there are the four towers. Can anybody see Larry or Pete on the towers? Let's count. One, two, three, four towers. <clears throat> Ooh, my favorite. Pizza! How many pizzas do you count? One, two, Three, four, five pizzas. Good job, Theo. Oh, how many balls? Because we have so many sports in Chicago. I count one, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, look at trolleys. How many trolleys do you guys see? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven trolleys. Oh, look at what did we have with Larry and Pete? Hot dogs. How many hot dogs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job, Megan. Oh, look at. Boats. We have boats in Chicago. How many boats? Nine boats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boats. And last, oh, this is Navy Pier with all the beautiful fireworks. How many fireworks are there? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fireworks. Woo! All right, my friends. I'm having a great trip on this bus. We're being safe, and we're going to pick you guys up this week. We'll be there soon. And I have one last thing I would like to say. Miss Chloe. Happy birthday, Chloe. Yay. Thank you for always hanging out with us. We love you. You've done a great job on all the projects. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I'm going to sing. Are you ready, Gigi? Can everybody help me sing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chloe. Happy birthday to you. Yay! All right, guys. Let's see some of those buses. Everyone. Hey, welcome, Chloe. Welcome. Let's see your bus, Chloe. I miss Nermina and Amy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they miss you too and they love you. All right, they will send you big hugs and kisses for your birthday. Okay. All right, guys, have fun making your buses. We'll be back up tomorrow to make your bus passes with Angelica so you can get on the bus, okay? I want to take some rides around the city and go I to some special places. Um, I like to see my <laughs> All right. Work on those buses, all right? Have fun. Beep, beep.